Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now, something I've always wanted to do on this game is create a space station, though I never really knew where to start, so I've been watching some tutorials by Scott Manley trying to, trying to get the idea of what I had to do, and I had to totally relearn how to do rendezvous in space. And for those of you that don't know, because a lot of you, as I said before, don't actually know much about Kerbal Space Program, rendezvous, rendezvous in space are when you take one thing that's already in space and you go and meet it with another thing and you can connect them together and you can transfer fuel and all this fun stuff. So I'm going to try my very best to make something that actually works and can get into space and can connect to other parts. And that's the easy part because then once that's there, it just floats around in space and you had to get something else to go to it and do a rendezvous. So let's just, let's try and do it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the command pod here. I'm pretty sure with a command pod like this, you should just be able to take it to space. You don't need to actually have any Kerbals in there, uh, which is good because this is just the base part with a little bit of fuel. And I'm planning, what I plan on doing is putting something on one side and then something on the other in terms of fuel tanks and then having some docking ports on those. And that's pretty much it. I think I may or may not re need a reaction wheel as well. So I'm going to put on an inline stabilizer. I think that's the same thing. It's going to be kind of, I think it's going to be kind of tight. Maybe I'll make these a little bit bigger. Let me make them a little bit bigger. These ones. There you go. That's the good stuff. And you know what? We're going to go crazy and we're going to flip this just so it's symmetrical. Mmm, look at that. Okay. Normal size docking ports are going on this. I think this is all you got to do here. Just stick them on like that. And then I'm actually going to put two, four more on. It's going to be a nice big, big central area here that a bunch of stuff can, can go on. So just duplicate it here like that. We'll put one here. Okay, you follow me so far? And we're gonna put another one there. Is that, that lines up, right? I think. Yeah, look at that. Okay, and now we need solar panels and batteries. And I'm not really sure if there's anything else we need after that. Besides something to get it in the space, obviously. That's that's a given, right? You got you, you yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at the, look at this thing. Doesn't this just look like the most symmetrical thing you've ever seen? Besides for the middle part, I like it. I I'm I'm a total sucker for things that look good. I don't even care if it like works and shit. So this thing should actually like I'm, it's not gonna launch. Okay, we're gonna go we're gonna go through the launch pad, and this thing is not gonna go anywhere because there's nothing to get it anywhere. I'm hoping that if we lay it here, we should be able to at least test it out and make sure things work. Like this, this should open up. These are panels. These are solar panels. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that solar panel sticking out here. That's pretty small though. Is there bigger ones? Pretty sure it's bigger ones than that. Ah, whatever. Okay. So this thing here, this thing here has to get into space, okay? And in order to get things into space, you need to put rockets and shit on your vehicle. Or so I'm told. So we're going to take rockets and put them on there. I don't think we actually need this part right here because of the fact that we can put it somewhere else. And we can actually just, okay, okay. You, who, who's the, where, has, there, okay, we're good. It's all good. That is how it's going to look. Now it is actually symmetrical. Look at that. Okay, now we got to put it to coupler on this thing. Okay, nope, nope. Yes, yes. That look really, this looks really big from here. It's actually, it's a perfect size. Look at that. Okay, okay, perfect size. And these things are apparently, apparently they don't actually connect the same way when you put them on a docking adapter. So you need to make sure that they're like strutted or whatever. But uh, I'm going to put that little wheel here. So it's not actually on our main object, our main what, what vessel the, the main part of the station we're, we're, we don't want that there we don't need it now guys i don't even know if i'm gonna have enough delta v right away to get into space i'm basically gonna have to try it and see if it works because i don't know how many rockets i need to put on this thing so i'm thinking we're just gonna put this one in the middle here and then we're gonna put some bigger ones on the side and then that should be good but but really big ones like the the biggest ones the big orange bastards these yeah those are the ones now we need some massive engines. Look at this. Look at this thing. Dude, don't walk under there, okay? There's a giant floating thingy-mabob up in the air, and you don't want it to fall on your head. He's not even listening. Look at them. Look, look at him walking. Look at his little sciencey dude over here. Just walking around, minding his own business, not thinking about the fact that he might be dead soon. Eh, uh, whatever. Okay, somebody tell me, what have I forgotten? SAS. I got SAS on this thing. I got a bunch of rockets. What if I just sent it into space, huh? Just what, what, a big what if for you. Boom, let's do it. There's a lot of fuel in these things, man. It is very slowly uh, dissipating from these tanks, which is a good thing. And it's also feeding into the little tiny one that's blasting here. And we get up into space, we're going to throw those around, and everything's going to be good. I think I overestimated the amount of fuel I would actually need in this thing. 
We're already like almost there and I haven't even ran out of the liquid fuel in these. I think it's I think it's gonna be pretty good. Okay. I think this is gonna work pretty good. We can pretty much like leave that view now, right? Okay. Bring this up. And boom, cut all the engines. You see that? I learned a new trick. It's called press the X button and the engines will get cut. So I'm now in space. Obviously. Everything is good. I just used a bunch of maneuver nodes to make myself a nice little round orbit at 98 and 100. Pretty damn close if you ask me, okay? But, <laughs> I kind of have, um, well, two extra rockets I don't need. Uh, I'm assuming I should just throw them away. You can go to hell and, um, you can go to hell? That's, I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do in this case, okay? They're gonna float off into space. They're still gonna be in orbit, they're just gonna hang out. And, uh, and we'll, we may never see, never see each other again, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. I don't really like you guys much anyway. And there you have it, guys. Look at that. Look at this fancy-looking thing here that's just gonna float around in space and be a space station. This thing is called Space Station Core, and it is the core of our space station, in case you couldn't figure that out. And now the, the, the real job here is to actually connect something to this, which involves a whole lot of crap. And I'm gonna try and do it. Oh, I almost forgot one very important thing. That's not really that important, but it's kind of cool. We can put out our solar panels now. Ooh. This thing has solar panels. It's state of the art. It's the best technology you've ever seen. Okay? You see this? Doesn't this kind of look like a space station now to you? Because it does to me. Like, this, this thing looks pretty damn fancy to me, and they rotate towards whatever direction the sun is in. Because they are freaking intelligent. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful, okay? And it's going to be even more beautiful when we actually connect something to it in 160 years when I figure out how. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to take our fancy little Kerbals and we're gonna send them up into the space station. I think there's like a bunch of stuff you can do here. I'm just gonna stick a pod on here and it's gonna have a docking adapter on the end. It's pretty pretty straightforward. You know what I actually forgot to put on the other one that may have been helpful? That's the Lord Scott Manley told me to do. That was lights. Apparently you can stick lights on that thing to make it easier to see stuff. But I didn't do it, and oh well. We'll put some lights on this, right? We'll, we'll just we'll just we'll just stick some lights on this thing, and it'll be okay. Where where are the lights at? All right. So I recorded a bunch of stuff, and then a wonderful thing happened where my recording actually sounded like shit. The microphone volume was way too high, and it was pretty much unwatchable. But luckily, I didn't actually do the rendezvous. I only lined myself up in space, but it did take forever. We're gonna do it again, okay? And here is my ship, because I'm pretty sure none of that is usable anymore. This is the ship. It's got lights on the top. It's got a docking port, it's got uh, RCS um, energy, it's got a battery pack, it's got uh, some fuel, it's got a big ol', uh, two big ol' uh, solar panels, and it's coupled with a bunch of stuff to get it into space. We're gonna put it in space, we're gonna do all that fancy stuff you gotta do in order to get it to a rendezvous, and we're gonna dock with the space station. It's gonna happen right now. You know, in a way, this is kind of a good thing since I did screw a bunch of stuff up when I was trying and now I know exactly what to do. First of all, you go to your map, okay? Now, you check and you see where this thing is and you want to bring it over so it's above your head before you launch your vehicle. So let's just time accelerate. Now this spaceship here, the space station, is just about to go over the head. Okay, so we're just going to go on down here and we are going to launch our vehicle into space. Boom! Part one is complete. Okay, now we're gonna start turning east, but we need to make sure that our projection up into space is gonna be lined up with our space station. Right now, it's not actually gonna be lined up, so we need to make sure we do that. It's gonna be slightly off center. As you can see here, we need to actually go up a bit, I think. Hang on, hang on. All right, so in that case, we're gonna go down here just a little bit, and that should actually push us up. We want our apoapsis to line up here, and then we're gonna, we're gonna stop going up, and we're gonna keep going east again, okay? And by up, I mean north, of course. As you can see, our apoapsis is pretty much lined up there. We'll fix any other uh, discrepancies later. And that's as far as up, up as we want to be right now. 80, 86,000. This one's on 100,000. That's fine. We'll catch up to it. And we'll, and we'll get all up in there. We'll get all up in its junk, okay? Space junk. How are you guys doing in here? There's, there's only one person in there. How do I switch to the other people? I don't really know. You. You there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, no. Oh, no. 
<laughs> I just had to screw that up, didn't I? I meant to press IVA, not EVA. Why are these things so... Why are they so similar? I am so sorry. I'm gonna have to revert that flight. I don't feel like losing someone in space. Not today. Do you want to know what I'm going to do right now, guys? Because this is really frustrating trying to get anything done here. I'm actually going to drop this can off. Goodbye, can. And now, look how fast it moves. It is such a little speedy little bastard because I dropped all that fuel that we didn't need, okay? Now, we only need a little bit of fuel. We only need to do a 14 meter per second burn. It's going to take like two seconds, okay? It's perfect. Okay, do you see this little orbit we got going on here? Eventually, we'll catch up to the space station. Where is the space? There it is, okay. We'll eventually catch up. We're already 300 kilometers away and slowly going down. That is a good sign. We speed this shit up and it should take no time. Maybe. Okay, guys, we're approaching the space station now. When we get to 100 kilometers away, I'm actually going to increase the orbit so we slow down a bit. It'll make for a, a closer uh, encounter. We basically need to have the same orbit as that. You see this? You see how close we're coming to this thing right now? That's This is how you do it. This is how you meet up with it. You just have to take your freaking time. And look how close we are getting. And we're only going to get closer. Okay, guys, after I've messed with everything, we now have a station part right here, and we have a space station that's 17 kilometers away. But by the time we get over here, it's only going to be 3.4 kilometers away, which is pretty damn close, and it's close enough for me, and then we just got to go meet up with it. Okay, guys, I just quick saved, but I accidentally hit a button and kind of screwed up our meeting. Oh, my goodness, 0.9 kilometer separation coming up here. Holy crap. All right, I guess that wasn't so bad after all. I guess I'm doing okay. Oh, the station core is behind me now. Okay, so I need to go the other way. I need to burn I need to burn retrograde, right? I need to try and decrease the speed between me and the target. I need to get it down to zero. I'm not even completely sure how I do that, but I'm going to try. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so now what we're going to do, it's two kilometers away. We're going to point at the target, and we're going to go towards it for a bit until we get as close as possible before it starts going the other way. I'm going to go with 10 meters per second. I don't know if that's too fast or not. I can't really remember. Maybe go a bit faster. 20? Let's go with 20. 20 is, 20 is a slow speed, right? We are doing this, ladies and gentlemen. Look, 400 meters away. Okay, let's 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 go for it again. 5 meters per 10 meters per second. 8, 8, 7.5. Okay, we, we got middle ground. Don't bang into the space station. Bad things will happen if you bang into the space station. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now look how close we are. We're next to it. This is amazing. Let's turn the lights on. Boom! We got lights. Okay, now. Now, I think, I think it's time, I think we could probably use our RCS here if we wanted. But why don't we just burn to the target one more time? I am getting, I'm getting bold here, but I've remembered to quick save this time, so I could, I could load the quick save. Wait, we're still getting closer. Okay, we're still getting closer. In that case, we should probably just wait. The space station is spinning around. I don't like that. Can I go to the space station and tell it not to spin anymore? That's going to make it hard for me to dock. I'm already really paranoid about this whole docking situation. Okay, the station core is not moving. Does that mean that I'm moving? I really don't know. Now it's moving. I can make it move. I'm going to make it stay in one place. See, I'm 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 ready to be penetrated by your docking port, okay? Let's do this. We shouldn't have done this on the dark side of the planet, but whatever. I don't care. I got lights. See these lights coming up in here? Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at it. It's coming in. It is coming in hot. Get in there. Whoa. Oh, magnetism. Look at the mag. Yes, we docked. We did it. Oh, man. Okay, are you ready for this? One more thing we have to do. Just one more thing we have to do. We have to open up our solar panels. Yep. Look at those big old giant solar panels. I just used two words to explain how big they were. And uh, we're not going to get much sun because we're, you know, in the dark. But we could, we could time accelerate now to the non-dark. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's spin around the planet for a bit. There, look at that. Look at that sun coming out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Look at it. It is sort of a space station, in a way. I don't know how to get the view so you can just see this, but I'm pretty proud of it. I'm not gonna lie. Look at it. Look at it with its giant solar panels and shit. That is a space station. There are people here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on an EVA, and this time, he's not gonna die. Look at that. Look at him go. Let go, buddy. Let the wind take you. There's no wind in space, but I don't care. Okay, don't go too far away. I don't want you to die. It's just a test. It's just a test EVA, okay? Don't zip, zip slow down. Okay, you, why don't you go back in? Why don't you go back in? Where the hell's the door? That's the door. That's the crew hatch. That's the crew hatch right there. Okay, I'm coming in, guys. I'm coming in your crew hatch. That's what she said. Boom! And we're boarding. 
We don't want to screw that up now, do we? Alright guys, well, I'm going to end this video here. I'm pretty proud of myself right now. I think this is pretty cool. I like my design. I, I was trying to come up with a design for a while and I couldn't think of anything, but I said, hey, why don't I just uh, have a couple tubes here, you know, with, with fuel in them and just put a bunch of docking ports on and some batteries and some solar panels. And I think it turned out good. So thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program. If you have any tips, if you have any suggestions, anything you want to add, just leave it in the comments and I will see you next time. Goodbye.